Hello and welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we are going over a video we shot the other day about all the reg brakes with two new fuse boards that are fitted. Now our carpenter friend here reckons they're not new, there's some second hand ones and looking at the state of the install it wouldn't surprise me if they were but there's issues across the board. Since our last visit we mentioned one of the issues that happened. There's been another issue. This loose earth terminal that feeds two boards, one for the annex we're working in, one for the house next door, a lady's moved next door to her daughter and kids so she can help with schooling and stuff. This loose earth block, which was just very rammed in with a very small screw on a wall plug, shoved in a hole that was too big, so it's by another wall plug, great job. This earth had just come out and the gentleman came here and the earth was loose. The whole property was an earth. This is the big worry. So we filmed this before these stairs were fitted. Somehow when these stairs fitted, you notice this Henley block's different to that one. We came here one day just to do something very quickly, help her out with the Arga. And we noticed the cover missing off the mains. The whole block had a massive exposed block of live mains, which was absolutely terrifying. Now, fair enough, maybe someone knocked it with the stairs, installing the stairs. But the worrying thing was the screw was missing. So it wasn't like it was cracked along there or anything. The screw was missing and the whole cover was missing to the mains, which was absolutely terrifying because if someone had touched that, they wouldn't be coming back from touching that. So, what we're going to do now, well, I'll run you through the issues outside, then we'll take the board covers off, and we'll run you through the issues inside. So, that loose minor, that loose more major. We've got no strain relief on these. These shoddily fit. Massive looping tails with no strain relief. That's, that's a C2, really. So with these mains cables, if someone catches them, best case, we're putting stress on the connections, weakening the connections, possibly creating a loose connection that might overheat and set on fire or melt. Worst case, you're going to rip one of those tails out and cause some serious damage. Issue number two. No fire seals, no gland protection. It really needs some stuffing glands. We've got big stubble stacker board. I'll grab in a sec and hold up and I'll show you what we're gonna fit rather than this. So this is before we've taken the cover off. Other issues were incorrect labeling on a brand new board. And having a look at some of this labeling, I can see why he thinks it's a second hand board, to be honest. Um, the worrying thing we said in the regs, they had an Arga constantly running Arga, so it's the heat form of heat for this building, runs 18, 24 hours a day, 32 amp rated or it's meant to be on a 32 amp breaker they've asked for, it was on a 4 mil cable, reference method going down through a cavity by insulation and when we did the cable calculations just not including any grouping, just allowing for the reference method, it could take 18.5 amps. It's massively underrated and that running 24-7 could possibly have set on fire. That's proper dangerous. Right, so let's get these board. Before we get those board covers off, I'm just going to grab our new board. We've got a little fuse box, double stacker, one piece. We're going to adjust the height because the stairs are in the wrong place. They haven't got the clearance, so they've got to move the steps to pass building control. We got this nice double stacker, RCBOs. Obviously the best thing about RCBOs, if you get a trip, it localizes the trip into the one breaker. So unlike this board, if these sockets trip out, it's also going to knock out the shower, the lights and the other sockets. If they plug in a faulty toaster, it's just going to knock out those sockets. Nice and simple. The other good thing we got is spare ways. You'll notice when we take the cover off, they've got five circuits in one breaker in there, which when I spoke to my governing body, they said that was a C2 because it's just so badly overloaded. I mean, you're going to lose all the lights in one trip, which is just silly when you've got over 10 ways. The final thing we've got, of course, particularly this is a slightly more rural area, surge protection. Surge protection is gate 
great because it just protects from lightning strikes. Transient voltages. So when they got an expensive Arga, they've also got expensive aircon machines that run their heating. If you get a surge, it's going to blow all this equipment up and it's going to cost them thousands to replace. Oh my gosh, I forget how bad it was. Are you seeing how hard this is to get off? That, that is not good for a brand new fuse board to struggle like that to get the cover off. So here's one cable we installed earlier. Let me talk you through some of the issues. Down here, we've actually moved most of it, but we have all the lights and one breaker. They put all these smokes on a C-type, but okay, whatever. This is the infuriating thing. They've got two spare ways here. Why didn't he just go up the road, get two more B6s? We're about 10, 15 minutes from a supplier, if that. Just put two more up there. He's actually used grommets for the mains, which is uh, lucky. We've got unlabeled um, tails on some cables, which isn't the end of the world. Here's our neutral for the Arga. Here's our cable for the Arga. Plenty of slack because we now have to raise this up. We've got no cover along here. Mixing grommet there with an armored cable coming through. If you have a look, I'll get Ryan to do a close up in a minute. That armoured cable has no gland, so that's a C2. Right, other issues. Once again, multiple circuits, spare breaker right beside it. Don't really get that. No grommet on the right hand side. All the cables come from there. So for a start, we've got horrible grouping. For a second look, you can see how badly they are forced on that corner. It's just poor design. The way they've just been slapped in and plastered in there, slapped in and plastered in there, there's just a comedy of errors. Unfortunately, in this poor lady's case, she didn't know she didn't have a proper sparky and that is the problem. Some dodgy guy with the builder who wouldn't even admit he put a four mil in for the cooker, which is just beyond belief. They tried denying that even when Arga and me were telling them it was a four mil cable. I mean, it's got four mil written on the side. That was kind of the clue. And it's just been a comedy of errors. The poor lady's been massively let down and now she's got to spend a bit more to come and have it corrected, which just isn't right.